hello 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 welcome back to my channel if you're new how did you find me I'm glad you found me I hope you enjoy this video if you're gonna keep watching um, today I was going I was going to today I am I am doing a cranberry look a bit vampire -y. so if you wanted to see how I created this look today then please keep watching I also am doing a first impressions of the LA girl pro high definition illuminating foundation and if you want to see what I came up with and how I did this and what I enjoyed doing today then please keep watching so I picked up the LA girl pro coverage high definition long wear illuminating foundation and I picked it up in the shade Nude Beige. Now, I got Nude Beige because in my Rimmel foundation, that is actually True Ivory, but I used to wear Soft Beige. There's 16 shades that you can get. And then you can just flick through and then all your shades are there. And I was probably on there for about 20 minutes trying to look at what shade was the best for me. Yeah, I really like the packaging because it's plastic and it's clear and it's quite light, it's nice. Ooh. I like it because it's a pump, very nice. They also do uh, matte foundations. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna pump. Ooh, oh, very liquidy. That is the shade, very nice. Doesn't really smell that nice, but I always think that, oh, the, now you can't see because this light is making me look very pale, but I'm actually tan, so this is actually going on really nice. That's why I always get like a darker colour as well, because I do always tend to tan. I don't know why it's making me look so pale today, because I am actually tan. But yes, this is very nice. And I hardly put on, and you saw how much I put on my hand, and that's covered pretty much my face. I like and like it feels really nice. Very nice. And it is very similar to the colours that I would normally use. It's nice. It almost smells like toffee actually. Mmm. Yeah, I'm getting toffee, toffee vibes. I love it. I'm really, really happy. I love the new foundation. LA girl, you came through, you came through again. I loved the concealer. I've got it, I'm gonna use it today. And now this is my new favourite foundation, so oh. That is a winner, 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 chicken dinner. Let's get on to concealer. Concealer, concealer. So today I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. I used to use porcelain, and I think now that I've got this foundation, oh no, it's not that bad. I was gonna say, now that I've got this foundation, I might have to change concealer, but it's not too bad. I think I'm gonna have to go a lighter shade. Um, yeah, I think I wanna get a lighter shade in this. But I've only just got it, so you know. Oh, and what I would say is that I literally ordered that foundation yesterday on Beauty Bay and it came this morning at like 10 o'clock, so I was really happy about that. Oh, I'm loving these foundation lips. They have got to go. Uh -huh. Love. I'm gonna just spray a bit of my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray on my sponge. Just because it's nice and moisturizing, so yeah. Yeah, I would say that this isn't giving me a bright eye. So, um, I'm definitely going to get a lighter shade in this because it's just blending in. It's blending in with the foundation. I use my uh, anti-eye razor from Maybelline. Like straight away, you can see the difference. How this light you can't literally can't even see that. Straight 
straight away. Difference. I love it and I'll use it probably like when I have to do eye makeup and stuff but now I have obviously got a new foundation. I need a light shade. But that's fine because they are literally £5 on Beauty Bay but I actually got mine for £4 the other day because it was on sale so I picked that up straight away. So yeah. This foundation is so nice. I don't know if you can see it but I look tanned and it's blended in so nicely. My Anastasia contour kit light to medium that I use all the time. So that's why I said I want you know I want to try some powders and I'm using my Real Techniques brush in 300 and I'm going in with the banana powder shade and I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes just where I put the concealer so I was stressing out uh, this morning because I ordered my new lighting and I got an email yesterday saying it was going to arrive at nine o'clock well it said it was going to arrive between like now and not and they sent me the email at eight in the morning okay eight in the morning gets to nine o'clock about to sit down watch Love Island still still no lighting still no lighting bear in mind I wanted to film this video today which I am so hallelujah anyway so I emailed them saying I, I paid extra um, for it to be delivered. Where is it basically? Then I got um, like a message saying, we are sorry to hear that your parcel hasn't been delivered. It could become, it could come between now and Tuesday. I thought, nah. So I said, well, I want the money back for the delivery money that I paid and this isn't acceptable because I need it for Thursday. So they messaged me back saying it wasn't in stock and it's coming from Europe. <sighs> Europe? Europe! Luckily, whoever it was was really, really nice and they said that they were going to put my delivery on high priority and they did and it came today about half 11 and I was so happy because my beauty bay order came then my lighting came and I was like yeah I can film I can film so here we are just want to tell you a little story about my stressful stressful 24 hours but we're okay we're over the stressfulness shut up grace I'm going to contour contour and I just mix all three colors together just because I like the, I like the colour that they create together and I like to get rid of my big foreheads because I know I've got a big forehead and you know, it doesn't bother me, I'm just going to blend that in. And this brush is Real Techniques 100 big fluffy brush. Very nice. I am loving the way this foundation is setting and staying very nice. Very nice. Eyebrows. Oh, another story about eyebrows. It's just not my, it's not my week. It's really not my week. So I went home last weekend um, <coughs> for some celebrations and I obviously left my new Morphe eyebrow micro brow thing at home. Bear with. I'm just gonna have to use my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade that's in that little rubbish pot if you've watched my first ever video. Um, this is my um, like eyebrow, you can use it for eyebrow and eyeliner, I do for um, from the Unicorn Cosmetics. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, I know I'm so behind and I don't really care. Um, 
because this palette has been out for ages. It is the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe and I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I love the packaging and I love how the names are on the back. I thought that was a really cool idea. Although, like when the, the names are on this way and then you have to like flip it round to work out what ones are what, but you know. So yeah, I got this this morning from Beauty Bay and I am, I'm in love with this. This is so gorgeous. Now, the reason I didn't get it when it first came out was because then I wasn't really, I was confident in eyeshadow, but I always stuck to like my basic bronzy, smoky like eye colours. So now that I'm loving life and I feel like, woohoo, I can conquer the world with eyeshadow, I thought this would be the perfect palette to get because the colours are just beautiful and I've seen many people use it and it's got very, very, very good reviews. So I thought, you need to get yourself one, Grace. You need to get yourself one. Get this on my eyeballs. So, that's what we're going to do today. Do you know what I'm going to do? Because that's just me and I always improvise. But I want to go with some sort of colourful look. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do today. Getting a bit parched over here. I think I might go for like a cranberry eye. Because there's some nice cranberry colours. Nice shimmery cranberry. Let's go for a cranberry colour. We're going for a cranberry look today, children. Okay, so I'm going to get my brush from the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette because I just love this brush and I do want to get some new eyeshadow brushes. So, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to use the fixed side for this. This shade here. And this is, this is called Roxanne. That is called Roxanne. One, two, three, four, five. It's Anne. Roxanne. And it's more of like a burnt orange colour. But I thought if I use that for my transition colour, then I can build it up. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Like it already. Love it. Gonna go in with the darker colour um, around the edge. This, this is the one next to it right here. So I just used that, and now I'm gonna use this. And this one is called Jax, 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 Jax. Nice. Oh, that's like a purpley colour. Okay. Okay, Jacqueline girl. Building it up because I just want like the outer edge of my eye to look big um, because I've got some lashes that they're not. I'll explain that when I get to that. Shut up, Chris. So I'm going to go in with this colour up here, and this is called Sissy. Oh, yeah, Sissy girl. This crease brush is from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to put it like on the corner, blend it out, smoke it out. Oh, divine. Just, it's like a, what is that on my head? And where did it come from? Hold up. So I wanted to add some of this darker shimmery colour, which is called crown apple. I mean, if I'm doing a cranberry look, I've got to add some crown apple, haven't I? Haven't I? Right, so crown apple girl, it's your time to shine. Right. Do you want to come view my video? Say hi. Say hi to my girls. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> hi. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. God, this makes you feel great. <laughs> like, I've had a sweaty day and I feel like, oh wow, how delightful. Oh, that's really nice. It's really like smoked it out. Nice. That's I'm going to go back in with the shade Jags. Jags, Jags, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> that was that darker shade. And I'm just going to put 
just gonna bring it into there under my eyes and I'm just gonna drag it from here okay so I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera so I can concentrate and try and do everything I did on this side on this side okay both eyes done so I just wanted to go under my eyes with that gold that I, well it's not even a gold, well it's weird because it's a pink colour on there but it's actually come out quite gold in my eyes. It looks gorgeous from where I'm sitting. It's really shiny so I don't think you can see it. It's literally just called Opi Lash Optimum Black. So I'm not going to put too much of this on because I'm going to put lashes on. I forgot. I forgot to do eyeliner and I've already put mascara on. But it's okay, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. I don't care. I can do it. I can do it. I can do what I want. It's in my Rimmel Exaggerate. I need to get a new eyeliner actually. I'm always running out of this. But this is really, really affordable and it lasts really long. And if you like to use it straight from the brush, it does come with a nice pointy brush. And it is liquid. I like to put it on a nice pointy brush like this, just because it helps me to get my winged look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this always happens to me when I'm on camera because whenever I do it, off camera it's absolutely fine it's just the pressure it's the pressure okay it's because you're there and you're watching so I'm gonna blame it on you not me I went out the other night and I literally done the best winged eyeliner that I have ever done I'm not gonna lie to you I've only just started doing winged eyeliner so actually I think for a beginner I'm pretty good <laughs> I don't know why I'm having a party because I'm really not the best at winged eyeliner. The other night gave me confidence. I was like, yeah, I can do it. It was literally like the perfect angle. It looked like it was ready to cut. And now this looks like a sledgehammer. I like this one better and I really don't like this one because this one is just giving me Egyptian long snaky vibes. Long snaky vibes. Okay, I got these the other day and they are Allure, Allure, and I forgot what number they are, so I will put that down below in my description when I've uploaded this video, so you can have a look because the box is not with me right now. Now, I don't normally get the lashes that I got, um, they're more like a cat, cat lash. So you know when they're like shorter here and then they expand. So your eye, like your eyes definitely, definitely can change the way they look. Like just by the certain type of lash you get. Because I feel like when you get the lashes where all the lashes are the same and they're all big. Then it makes your eye have like a rounded shape. Whereas this shape that I've got today gives me like a cat look. I don't mind it. It's not my favourite. But that's what we've got with today. So we're rolling with it. Rolling. So once the lashes are on, I like to just pinch them down to the natural lash and then I'm just going to go over mascara with them just so they stick. It just makes such a difference. Um, yeah, these are the normal lashes that I would go for as I feel like it doesn't give me like a full effect, but they're nice. Okay, so for blush, I'm just gonna use what I always use, the Bourjois Paris Blush in shade 33. It's really pretty. And this is my Real Technique brush, so. 
I learned this trick from watching Big Brother years ago because you probably watch my videos and think, oh, what is she doing? But I got tall, like this, took your cheeks in and go, so then you find the apples of your cheeks and then so that when you smile, they're your cheeks. <laughs> use my iconic London illuminator. This is so running low. Yeah, so with my iconic London drops, I don't actually drop it on because I feel like so much it comes out and you really, really don't need this. I have had this since October. October, it's lasted me so long. So yeah, you definitely don't need to be squirting it all over your face. Um, and actually I have done that a few times, like when I've gone out, I put it on before my foundation so it gets like a nice glowy look. Um, but like not every time I put my makeup on and it still lasted so long. Look, so good. Because it's so, there's just so much in one application, you really don't need loads and like a lot goes I mean little goes a long way that's what I meant to say but it came out very wrong love it I actually prefer to do it with my fingers in the beauty blender because I feel like when I do it with the beauty blender it just sucks it up um, whereas this makes it look really nice just doing it with your fingers just grabbing my Juvia's Place palette because this white, bright colour on this palette, ooh, I'm telling you, it is the brightest white I've ever used in a palette. Um, so it's really, really good for <coughs> um, highlighter. Really good. So I'm just going to put that under my brow bone just to make it stand out a bit more. Ah, oh, just put my hand right in the candle. Wow. You can see that is so white, like it's just so bright. And it just makes your brow bone look a lot higher. Gives it... See, so much nicer. Um, foundation, love, <coughs> love. It has stayed exactly the same at dying over here I stayed exactly the same and foldable love the packaging like I said and smells like toffee I'm gonna just go underneath my bottom lashes with my MAC mascara okay so under lashes done and I'm just gonna do my lips and I'm gonna lip line with my favorite go-to lip liner, which is from Collection, and it's in all my videos that I've done because I love it. And okay, and then over that, because I look a bit weird right now, I'm going to be use my MAC Vamplify Lipstick Lip Gloss, Matte Lip Gloss, it goes all different. This is in the shade Tuned In. I've had this for quite a few years. And I'm gonna... So it goes on quite glossy. Tastes like cookies. It actually tastes like cookies. Lips look gorgeous like with this combo. Um, yeah, it's so pretty, so lovely. Don't know why I keep doing this with my hair. It's probably because I've just washed it and it just feels so nice. So I just want to keep flicking it around. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this look that I created today. And all the products that I use, I will put down below in the description. And yes, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, please. Mwah, much appreciated. And my social media, I will link that all down below as well. So thank you. Ciao, adios, amigos. Goodbye.